Today we evacuated from Severodonetsk 11 people. Today we are in Kharkiv. With the escalation of the conflict in Ukraine in February 2022, over 7 million people were displaced from their homes to other areas inside the country. Others were trapped by the fighting and infrastructure was destroyed. Basics like food and medical supplies were hard to find. As humanitarian needs grow exponentially, we moved quickly to scale up our response across the country. So what does this mean for people affected by the conflict? Scaling up means clean water being restored for millions of people in conflict-affected areas. Damage to critical infrastructure like water mains, pipelines and treatment plants is a huge burden to people living in conflict-affected areas. It's also one of the first things that needs to be restored in order for people to return to their homes. Scaling up means people looking for medical care can make it to safety and access them, and more hospitals with medicine and medical equipment. Often, disabled and elderly people are among vulnerable and least able to flee to safety. They are also more heavily impacted when there is a lack of reliable, good quality health care. Helping people reach safety through medical evacuations and providing hospitals with life-saving supplies are first steps to meet these needs. Scaling up means making sure families have enough to eat. When you flee your home for safety, or when your home is destroyed, or when you have to hide in a basement, food can be very hard to come by. Over 7 million people are estimated to be internally displaced by conflict in Ukraine, meaning that needs are steep. Scaling up means tending to some of the invisible scars of war by providing mental health care, losing a home or a loved one, being afraid for your safety and your future. These events affect people differently and can have long-term impacts. Mental health care is as essential as physical health care. Scaling up means helping people fleeing violence, making it to safety. Safe passages provide a way for civilians who are trapped by conflict to make their way to safer areas. This means working with all parties of the conflict to stop fighting and agree on a route for people to leave through. This is a critical window for people to escape the horrors of armed conflict.